Hello and welcome back to Atlantic City in City Skylines. And today we have a different view here to start our episode because this is what we're doing today. Fixing this awful traffic, especially in this area. As you can see, another building has burned down there because, well, no one can get in there. That's why. <laughs> and then not just in this area, but we also want to fix this area here. Like there's always a queue coming in. There is now always a queue, as you can see, coming underground there and stopping over there. There is this huge queue of buses here. Look, what? What's happening? <laughs> what? Like, what are they doing? It's just like spreading, just going through the... Oh man, what's going on? I think they'll fall in in this lane here. I just want to see. There we go. There they are, just flying around. Just because there's so many buses waiting to get out of here that it's just getting stuck. And yeah, as you can see, that that's a mess. That's too many cars on the same place here, and I don't know how they got in this situation but they are trying to space out now and this is looking awful. But that's what we are doing today. We are fixing this area and fixing this will help me build this one as well, because otherwise this will get really, really busy and really bad messy very, very soon. And I think we, we need to change this, right? And this will be for the best. So everyone coming from the highway, have access to this, uh, to the Long Island, to the Bamboo Forest. Uh, we haven't named this um, suburb yet, but to a river bank and to our new suburb over there. So that's going to be, um, and by the way, we should remain, rename this to the Old Mill District because this is where the industry was before. And now, as you've seen in the last episode, the farm fields, they are in here now. So there we go. But yeah, I'll start probably with this area and then I'll move on into the, the city entrance here. This would be a big change, especially, especially this one. I think this one would be quite easy to do. This, like the uh, funnel in here is this roundabout. Everyone needs to go through here to get in and out or to access this area. This is how people access the internal area if they come through the highway over here as well. So we just need to make sure that they have enough access and that that is an easy way to do certain things here. So that's what I'll look at. But I'll do all these during a time lapse. Then I'll be back with you to explain what I've done and how that helped fixing the issues. And while I do that, please do enjoy the music and I'll see you soon. I know that I messed up, wish I could take it back, but it doesn't matter when you look at me like that. I know that I fucked up, but that doesn't work as an excuse. Sorry doesn't cut it, but I'm sorry for what I did. I cannot live with myself 
lift is running for a um, while while we fix the the other side but as you can see traffic here has gone down quite a lot and this one has gone down as well this was backing up all the way to this junction and into this road and yeah now i think it's getting better and some of these roads inside here are not congested anymore by the way it's not backing up in here as well so it was all uh blocked in there so i think it's just a matter of waiting now and making sure that this fix itself so i'll i'll come back later and talk through uh, what are the changes here, why I did them, and uh, what's happening, so you, you can understand what, what is going on. But let's go into the other side here, to the city entrance, and redo the city entrance now. This would be a bigger challenge, but let's work on it. Ah, look at the buses. <laughs> oh, and so many people walking through here. That's amazing. But yeah, uh, let me work on this and I'll be back when I finish that.
hopefully kept all access. I just have to fix this, but I'll fix that in a second. But hopefully I fixed all access. Oh, there's something wrong here as well that I just saw. We need to make sure. Uh, yeah. So what's wrong? Why are they stopping there? Just keep moving, keep moving and keep moving. There we go. You don't need to stop there. Just go. <laughs> you have your own lane. But anyway, so from here, they now have access to this area that I've completely redone this industrial uh, corner in here. And they can also have another road that goes underground and connects here. That's mainly for the buses. Although I'm seeing buses just coming through here and doing uh, not a long left turn in here, but and coming all the way over there. I don't know why they're doing that, but they are. So let's see how that goes. There is a lot of trucks coming into from this area still and let's see where they're going let's close this and take a look at this all right so we have a lot of trucks coming here doing a turn around and going over there again that doesn't make any sense I'm inclined to say that trucks can go in here, so we can fix that and make the trucks go all the way over there. Let's add some vehicle restrictions and let's go closer and say no trucks, please. So trucks need to go over there through the Butler Howie. Let's see if we start seeing some change in there. There we go. Some trucks coming in over there. And yeah, traffic is slowing down here. Even without removing the trucks, traffic is getting better in here. I think it's still uh, remaining from what happened before. But the main idea is that uh, as soon as these trucks get out from here, they'll have to go through here. We don't want trucks coming in here to make a U-turn and come in there. That doesn't make any sense, right? As you can see, that's all they're doing there. So yeah, uh, not really what we want to do. But hopefully this will improve traffic in this area. We'll come back here uh, in a second. Let's take a look at the first area that we fixed. Obviously we need to do more detailing and make sure that things are going well, in there, look at this, all traffic flowing. I had a feeling that this was all a matter of time. The traffic was starting to flow, but we had like so much traffic in there. We still have some traffic in this area. And I am hmm, curious on why. Maybe we need to do a small change in here. That's interesting. Like we have a lot of traffic coming from the highway, as you can see, it's non-stop. And this is backing this up. Although I'll have to change this when we do the airport because highway will actually keep going through here and connecting over there. So this might change slightly and then we will rework that. That might be something, but let's take a look at traffic in this area or in general. Yeah, this is much better. Lot. Buildings are not burning and <laughs> we are managing to actually get everyone moving in here. Average traffic flow 83%. I think I can leave this until we do the connection for the airport over there. 83%, that's pretty good actually, from 60 something percent that we had before. And there you go, traffic here has gone down and not enough. Okay, we don't have traffic there anymore. Good, now 
let's review the changes that I've done. Let's start with the this side here because I promised that I will talk through it. So the first thing that I noticed here was that for all these trucks, they were trying to access the highway and the only access to the highway was through these roundabouts and going through here and then they would be able to access this side or that side. Now, adding a bypass in here would make them uh, bypass the junction, which wasn't a roundabout, by the way, and they would be able to... I'm just... Uh, they can cross that and they'll be able to bypass this roundabout. So reducing the amount of traffic from here quite a lot as well. So there was one thing and I think that just that like helped the, the most in here. And that is a lot of cars that come from the highway that goes straight into here. And the cars were also trying to get through this traffic to get through this roundabout and get in other areas on this side of the train line. So one way to make that work was to add this bypass here that would connect at the back. So as you can see, this is quite busy now. So trucks and cars from here, they will have a way to go through there and everyone coming from the highway, they can also go through there to access this area without having to go through just one main connection in there. So it's always a good idea to have more than one entry point in your in your suburbs. And this definitely make the, the big change here. Now, there is still quite a lot of cars trying to get in from the highway in here and probably around here. Yeah, no. Let's take a look. The cars from the highway they're mostly going over there and some are going in here. So, and these ones, they are crossing over there. Yeah, mostly going over there or over here as well. So this is very, very busy and we might need to change that later. Probably when we do this, we might make some straight connections in there and make things slightly easier. Now this roundabout, was just done to make sure that this was flowing a little bit faster. This junction was pretty busy and I think that helped quite a lot. So that's sorted and coming back in here. Now this was a big change there. Uh, although I know that I have to change that slightly, I'll do that off camera. What do I have underneath here? Just like some weird cement all right but what i've done here we had that roundabout which was quite nice looking but we had to use something that wouldn't stop the traffic flowing so i've let the bypass here to go underneath and connect over there mainly because this is the traffic here would have to cross over here and I want them flowing. So this uh, reduced the necessity to use a traffic light in there. And it seems like we still have some trucks coming over here. Yeah, I might take a look at that as well, but they, they shouldn't, no trucks in there. Um, but yeah, so they would bypass that and get into the highway. Now this one, I've added a overpass here, so everyone from this side could go to the industry area and also an access to the highway. So all the buses from the bus terminal would be able to just go through here. And for buses to get in there, I added another underground bypass that goes in here and they have access over there as well. So that's working quite well for us. And what else? I think that's mainly it. I've improved our um, pedestrian bridge over here. Look at that. Like this is just so, this is just great to, to see actually. <laughs> I just love seeing that. And so many people walking there. I just wonder why they, yeah, they use this one, but most of them prefer to use over here. Well, Anyway, they're probably going through there 
and not through here. So that makes sense. And then we have an industry being built inside the pedestrian bypass over there. So let's quickly fix that. No, thank you. And I might need to just remove that and actually remove this as well. Yeah, that's better. Could still have one in here, but yeah, not on top of that. But yeah, this is pretty nice to look and I just love how this all work. But there you go. I think these fixes are pretty good. And just because I said like, what is with all these trucks over here? They shouldn't come in there. Yeah, no trucks there. And uh, no trucks there. No trucks there. I'm being very clear, like no trucks anywhere in here. And no trucks there. Thank you. Trucks need to go through this area. We have buses coming. I'm almost inclined to say no buses as well. If they are just coming through here. Yeah, I'll probably do the same. I want buses to use this web. Let's go a little bit closer. No bus there. No bus there. No bus in there. Or there. Or there. And there. So we need to see buses starting to come through this side here. I really wish I, I'm able to see that. We have some cars actually vanishing from there. We might need to restart the game. Or they are just trying to reorganize themselves into something that actually works. Yeah, I can't see any buses coming. Any buses coming from there? Yeah, they need to find their, their way. We need to close and open the the game again. Oh, there we go. We have a bus. That's going to vanish. <laughs> that doesn't help. But anyway, we will force them to go through here and go all around and get in there. That will solve that problem with traffic. And in here, we just need to take a look at this later on. But for the moment, we fixed what we want to fix. And looking at traffic again, we are at 82%. That's fantastic. I'm quite happy with that. And that'll be it for today. So I really hope you've enjoyed this little episode here. And that you just understood what I did and you can reapply that to your city as well. I think just one thing that I didn't mention was that I in some place like for example in here as we have the bypass that goes into this area I don't want people turning left so what I did I use uh, the lane connector and made sure that it can only turn right like just like that right and I use the lane selector here just to make sure that they keep on the lanes that they should be and that they when they merge, they have their own lanes in there, so they don't get in each other's way. Like this, this one gets the left lane, those two get one lane each. So yeah, that's mainly it. I hope you can do this on your city as well, and that, that makes sense for you. So thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.